Hi, this is Jim Ben with Homestyle Southern Cooking, and thanks for having me back into your home today. I'm going to fix one of my favorites today. As you all know, I love pumpkin, and I know a lot of people think that pumpkin is just for fall of the year, for Thanksgiving, but I love pumpkin year-round. And there's some people, I have a lot of friends that just, they love pumpkin year-round also. So we're going to make a cranberry pecan pumpkin bread. Just think about that, cranberry pecan pumpkin bread. It's unbelievable. So let's get started right away. Right away, I've got three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add that first. To that, I've got some baking powder. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. All right. Then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. And four, four teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, so they're my dry ingredients. And now I'm going to take these and I'm just going to whisk them together a little bit so I get them all mixed up my all my dry ingredients. My baking powder, my salt, my baking soda, uh, soda and my pumpkin spice. Okay, my dry ingredients is pretty well incorporated so I'm just going to push this aside. Next I'm going to use my mixer to mix all my wet ingredients. All right, my wet ingredients I've got, we'll start off, I've got one cup of applesauce. Now, if you don't want to use applesauce, you can use vegetable oil, the same amount, one cup of vegetable uh, oil. But I like the applesauce, it's a natural sweetener, okay? To that, I'm adding three, two thirds cups of brown sugar. I'm going to add two thirds cups of regular white sugar. I'm going to add two cups, which I found out Two cups is one regular can of pumpkin. So um, I had to really scrape it down to get two cups up, but it's, it's a regular, regular can. So get all my pumpkin in here. This is a, a wonderful bread. It makes two loaves. Uh, it's a wonderful bread to have uh, either cold, you can cut it and make it for toast. It's wonderful for breakfast. It's wonderful as a dessert thing too, later on at nighttime just to have some. I like to put a little bit of butter on mine, um, but it makes a really nice, nice cake. Also to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of, of vanilla, which I'm just going to sort of eye that. Okay, put my vanilla in there. Now, I've got three eggs, large eggs at room temperature. And we know where these came from. These came from my chickens first thing this morning. I tell you, it's nothing like, nothing like fresh eggs and having fresh omelets and scrambled eggs and fried eggs every day. If any of y'all don't use uh, regular eggs, farm eggs, you need to find somewhere that you can buy organic eggs because once you try them, there's a real difference in taste. Okay, that is my third egg. Okay, I'm gonna put my paddle blade on. Turn that. And we'll get these incorporated, just some stirring them first. Like I said, a lot of people, you know, just want pumpkin in the fall of the year or anything, but to me, pumpkin is, uh, is a year-round flavor. All right. 
Remember what I told you when you're scraping down your bowl, even though it's all liquid, still scrape down the sides really good and bring it up from the bottom. Okay. I'm going to take my paddle blade off of here. I'm going to take this off. And now I'm going to add my dry ingredients a little bit at a time. My oven's set on 350, and once I get these into the pan, they're going to bake about 50 to 55 minutes, or maybe up to an hour. At this point, I'm going to switch over to my spoon. I'll come back to my spatula because I'm, uh, because I'll need that in just a few seconds. All right, I'm going to add the rest of my flour. And then really stir this up. Okay, I've got this pretty well incorporated. So at this point, I'm going to add one cup of chopped pecan. I'm going to add one cup of dried cranberries. Now you can imagine what this is going to taste like with all these pecans and cranberries in this pumpkin. It's going to be absolutely incredibly insane good. And it's so pretty when it's cut too because you see the red cranberries against the orange and the pecans. So I'll bring it all up to the middle. I don't want any pecans to, to hang out at the bottom. Okay. I bring my spatula back again and I'll clean this off. Now, I've got two loaf pans. These are about, uh, about four by eights, okay? I'll make two of them. And what I did is I cut a piece of parchment paper to put in the bottom of it uh, because a lot of time if a cake's gonna stick out to you, it's gonna be in the bottom. But I'm gonna also spray it with, I love this pan with the flour already in it. I'm going to spray the bottom of this paper too. And I'm also spray the sides. All right, that's one of them done. That's two done. Okay, now I'm going to start dividing these, I hope equally, between the two. A spoonful in each one is what I'm going to do and bring it up to the bottom so I make sure that I get pecans and cranberries on each one of these. I wish you could smell this. I love the smell of pumpkin and it's just, it just smells, but look, look at all the All the cranberries in there. And the pecans, it's just a very, very rich tasting loaf of bread. Well, a loaf treat, I should say. I'm gonna start pushing some of these around now a little bit. I got more in my pan, but. So I'm spreading this out a little bit. All right, now we'll clean the rest of this off and get the rest of it out of my bowl and get them both evenly distributed. Okay, that's pretty much Pretty much my batter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take the back of a spoon. I'm just gonna put push this around. 
get it all leveled out. Push it up in the corners. Okay, I've got them both evenly distributed in my pan, and I saved a few pecans out, and I'm just going to spread a few pecans on the top of each one of these. So when it comes out, it'll be, uh, it'll be really, not only taste good, but it's going to look pretty also. So just spread the pecans on here. I'm going to put them in my oven, like I said, for about 50, 55 minutes, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, our, pe our pecan cranberry pumpkin bread is in the oven about 40 minutes instead of 50 minutes. I'm glad I tested. I'm so used to cooking on two different ovens, so this was about 40 minutes. So I'm going to get them out. I'm going to put them on my cooling rack. Let them cool. Look how beautiful that is. And as soon as these cool, I'll be right back with you. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Our cranberry pecan pumpkin cakes are out of the oven and they've cooled a little bit. So I'm going to cut this so you can see what the inside looks like. And look at that. See all the cranberries and the pecans, the pecans and the cranberry. Wow. And now the real test. I'm going to cut a little piece off here and try it. It's like I said, it's still warm. Look at all the pecans and cranberries in there. Mm -mm -mm. Make this one. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook. Look me up on YouTube. Subscribe to me and hit the bell. And every time I make a new recipe, they'll notify you. I, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you letting me into your home. I thank you all for your support and everything that you do. Until next time, this is Jim Man in Mexico saying take care of yourself and God bless.